Measurement on the field is fourth and one. The Steers have decided to punt on fourth down. Punting for the Steers number 88, Nicholas Matchett. Offense, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. Penalty on the play, delay of game against the Steers. Brings up fourth and six. No, that's... Back to receive for the Dragons, number one, Anthony Avalon. The ball is down at the 40-yard line. Dragons take over on offense, first down. Pass is complete from Michael Huntley to O.J. Bunton. Result of the play, a Dragons touchdown! <laughs> Score and play, one play, 60 yard completion for a touchdown for Michael Huntley. On to attempt the extra point, number 13, Noah Shaws. Kick is up and it through the go post for seven to nothing Dragons. Gentlemen, we remind you to keep up with your Dragon sports teams by visiting GoLCDragons.com. Schedule, game scores, statistics, rosters, and stories. All at GoLCDragons.com. You can also follow the Dragons at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Once again, that's GoLCDragons.com. Kicking off for the Dragons, number 13, Noah Shaws.
clap. Run the play clap. Number 12, Corey Jones on the keeper. Let's go home. Number three on the carry, Damon Woods on the tackle number 44 for the Dragons, Andrew Farmer. Carried by number seven, Dewan Hill. In on the tackle, number eight, Jeffrey Johnson and others. Brings up second down and 10. Pass intended for number 13, Anthony Holder. Incomplete, brings up third down. Fumble on the play, recovered by the quarterback, number 12. Corey Jones brings up fourth and long. Punt is down at the 33 yard line of the Dragons. Pass complete from Michael Hundley to number 11, O.J. Bunton. The ball is across midfield, placed at the 40-yard line. First down. Fumble on the play, recovered by number 12, Michael Huntley.
Brings up second down and 18. That's a quarterback sack for number 80, Donye Jefferson. Brings up third and long. Penalty on the play. Number eight, five yard penalty remains third down. Dragons retain the ball. Penalty was offsides against the Sears. Still remains third down. Michael Hundley on the carry. In on the tackle, number 40, Malik Gullery brings up fourth down. Back to punt for the Dragons, number 39, Kevin G. Ball is returned and fumbled. Fumble recovery by the Dragons, number 36, DeMonte Anderson. Dragons take possession. First and goal at the 10 yard line. Carried by number 24, Ike Brown. Bring up second down. Carried by number 24, Ike Brown. Tackled just outside the 
goal line. Brings up third and short. On the Dragon Athletic Network. Take about 30 second out. break right here, guys. Fans, as a reminder, the public restrooms here at Lane Field are located near the concession stand underneath the home bleachers of the stadium. Also, this is a smoke-free facility. Please refrain from smoking within the stadium. Lane College thanks you for your cooperation. First quarter of play, Lane third face with third and goal at the Carry by number 24, Ike Brown. Result of the play, a Dragons touchdown. Back to attempt the extra point, number 13, Noah Shaws. Kick is up and good for a 14 to nothing Dragons lead with 6.16 left in the first quarter. Luke Adam on the return. Ball is placed at the steers. 31 yard line. First down. To go.
pass is complete to number 47, Tyron Landers. Result of the play is no gain. Brings up second and 10. In the same. Heap to hef, lobs it up. Free ball. Pass intended for number six, Derek Cooper. Incomplete. Brings up third down. Give up. And he was hit right about the time he was getting. hit right there down back line make it force the punt again this time Evelyn's going to drop back and he's going to stand at about his own 42 yard line there's the snap there's the kick end over end hits you better fall on the football. Just. And that time a turnover by the. Steers recovered to, to kick. Ball will be placed at the Dragons 35 yard line. First down. Dr. Hampton, can you please meet members of the Kappa Sigma at the 20 yard line for a check presentation as the end of the first quarter, please. Pass is incomplete, intended for number six, Derek Cooper. Brings up second down. You've got Quadarius Johnson. Got number 44. <laughs> Penalty on the play. False start, offense, number 56, five-yard penalty, remains second down. Penalty against the Steers, a five-yard penalty for false start. Brings up second and 15. Number 24, Quindarius Johnson. Loss of three on the play. Brings up third down.
Pass is intended for number six, Derek Cooper. Out of bounds. Brings up fourth down. The Steers are in punt formation. Number 88, Nicholas Matchett will punt for the Steers. Back to receive for the Dragons was number 86, Virgil Young. Ball is down at the Dragons' seven yard line. First down. If I could have John Green, Eric Brent, and T. Willie Tyson, please make your way to the track close to the Dragons' locker room. John Green, Eric Brent, T. Willie Tyson. Complete to number 11, Oh Joshua Bunton. Down at the Dragons 45 yard line, first down. Carry on to play number 24, Ike Brown. Gain of four on the play, brings up second down. Quarterback carry by number 12, Michael Huntley. Result of the play, a Dragons first down. Quarterback number 12, Michael Huntley on the carry. Tackle by number 99, Montel Barr. Brings up second down. Number 24, Ike Brown. Result of a play. A Dragons first down. Mike Brown with another carry, gain of four, brings up second down. Pass is incomplete. There is a penalty on the play.
Also, if Sherrod Ellis can meet on the track, Sherrod Ellis also, please. Offside, defense, number 24, five-yard penalty. Second down. Game clock operator, please set the game clock to two seconds. Carry by number 24, Ike Brown. That is the end of the first quarter. The Dragons lead by a score of 14 to zero. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'd like to draw your attention to the field for a presentation to Dr. Logan Hampton from the Kappa Sigma Alumni Chapter and Miss Lisa Peoples. I need it. We want to we want to thank the Kappa Sigma yeah. Chapter of Omega Psi Phi for starting an endowment here at Lane College to help future students continue to mm -hmm transform lives, liberate minds, and celebrate excellence in Jesus Christ. They challenge all other Greek organizations to do the same. Thank you, Kappa Sigma Chapter Alumni Group. Get your money up. <laughs> They've started the endowment with an amount of $7,600. Thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd also like to take this time to recognize members of the Hall of Fame inductee class last night. On the track is Eric Brent from Covington, Tennessee. Mr. Brent was a four-year letterman for the Dragons football team and elected captain his senior year. He earned all SIAC honors as a punter in 2000 when he led the league with 49.2 yards per kick with a long of 72. Mr. Eric Brent. Carried by number one, Anthony Evelyn. No gain on the play. Another member we'd like to recognize is Mr. John Green, Lifetime Achievement. Selling from Whiteville, Tennessee, Mr. Green has been an avid supporter of Lane College Athletics for over five decades. Whether he's going into his own pocket to help fund projects, using his extensive network to fundraiser, or welding his influence to West Tennessee, Mr. Green stopped at nothing to ensure that the coaches and players at Lane College are supported and equipped with necessities to be successful. He serves as the chairman of Lane College Booster Club and has been a part of the Alumni Association for over 35 years. Offside, defense, number 90, five yard penalty, after the enforcement, it's the first time. Penalty on the play against the steers, advances the ball five yards,
carried by number 24, Ike Brown. Another member inducted last night is T. Willie Tyson, alumni and coach. A local product of Jackson, Tennessee, Tyson enjoyed a decorated high school coaching career. During his tenure at Southside, his teams won four district and regional championships, five sub-state championships, and made the state tournament two times. During his career, he was named Coach of the Year on three occasions, while also earning West Tennessee Coach of the Year once. Jackson Sun Coach of the Year three times, and TSSAA All-Tournament Coach Time once. Out. Texas College. That's the first time out of the half. Time out on the field called by Texas College, their second time out. Our next inductee F. is Mr. Sherrod Ellis with football. Mr. Ellis is a native of Houston, Texas, ended his Lane College career completing 672 passes for 7,867 yards and 64 touchdowns, which is all school records. He added 2,297 yards rushing on the ground with 32 touchdowns. He was named first team all SIAC in 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome these four Hall of Fame members that was inducted last night. This is complete to number 86, Virgil Young, from Michael Huntley, quarterback. Result of the play, a Dragons touchdown! Shaws has the extra point for a score. Dragons 21, Texas Steers 0. Number 36, Delonte Stevens on the return.
Pass complete down the far sideline to number 14, Trey Jones Scott. Result of the play, a first down for the Steers. Carried by number 14, Trey Jones Scott. No gain on the play. Brings up second down. Carried by number three, Damon Woods. Brings up third down. Backfield. And he's going to be taken down at the 30, so he's going to lose yardage. Pass complete to number three, Damon Woods. And on the tackle, number 92, Jaquinta Summers. on the carry, Daniel Hunt, tackled by number eight, Jeffrey Johnson. A lot of folks up. Check, check, check. Brings up fourth down. Check, check, one, two, three. Finley on the play. Personal foul, face mask, defense, personal foul, number face three. mask. Enforcement is half the distance oh, to the goal. Lane. Automatic, so first down. Half the distance. One, face two, mask penalty three. against the Dragons. Advances the ball up Shot for the steers. Down. And an automatic first down. Starts to run 45. Here in the first half, lane up 21 nothing. Defense trying to pitch the shutout. Two receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Again, two right in the back. Pass is incomplete. Penalty on the play. Defense, number 27. The ball's placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic, first down. Penalty against the Dragons, pass interference. Spot the ball at the side of the foul. Automatic first down for Texas College.
Fumble on the play, recovered by the Dragons, number 45, advanced by Ajmar Hassan. Dragons take over, first down. There was a change of possession on the play. During the return, unsportsmanlike conduct, Texas College coach interfering, that's a sideline interference, first down, 15 yards. This is incomplete and intended for number five, Ryan Whitaker. Brings up second down. Pass was intercepted by number 40, Malik Gullery, on the tackle number 24, Ike Brown. Offside, defense, five yard penalty, remains second down. Penalty on the play before the interception. Dragons retain the ball. Second down. Ball is spotted at the 10 yard line. Carried by number 24, Ike Brown. Gain of three on the play. Brings up third and two.
Carry by number 24, Ike Brown. Result of the play, a Dragons touchdown! Noah Shaw's adds the extra point for a 28 to nothing Dragons lead. Ladies and gentlemen, your Lane College volleyball team will host Fisk University for their annual pink out game on Tuesday, October the 12th. First serve is at 6 p.m. at JF Lane Gymnasium. Also, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're here for Senior Day, Saturday, October the 16th, here at Lane Field, when the Dragons host Miles College. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. Let's see you at the field. Kickoff is returned by number 22, Jared Stallworth. Tackle on the play is number three, Nigel Canada. There is a flag way back here at the... There is a penalty on the play. Looks like it's going to be a block in the back against Texas College. Holding. Turn team, number 18. 10-yard penalty from the spot of five. Texas College to keep the ball. 15 yard turnover for the spot of the foul. Personal the foul against the, foul the Texas Spears, Spears. While the play was happening, Texas College retains the ball. Yeah, well, take the The ball is spotted at the 25 yard line. Carried by number three, Demon Woods. Brings up second down. In on the tackle, number 44, Andrew Farmer, and number 92, Jaquinta Summers, brings up third down. College. Sterling calls for the ball. Lane's pushing, everybody in the box, looking to pass. Flips it out, incomplete. Be fourth down for Texas College from their own 30-yard line, so they'll be forced to punt. Pass is incomplete, intended for number three. Demond Woods brings up fourth down. Back to punt for the Steers, number 88, Nicholas Matchett.
The ball goes out of bounds near the 20 yard line. Dragons take over first down. Pass is complete from number 12, Michael Huntley, to number 86, Virgil Young. Tackle on the play by number 31, Kenyon Robertson. The result of the play at Dragon. First down! Game clock operator, please run the game clock. Start. Mike Brown on the carry, gain of two. Pass complete from Michael Huntley to number one, Anthony Evelyn. Result of the play of first down, Dragons. <laughs> Penalty on the play. Offside, defense number 53, unabated to the quarterback. After the enforcement, first down. Dragons have the ball first and goal from the five yard line. Number 24, Ike Brown, loss of one on the play, brings up second down from the six yard line. Handoff up the middle. to bring a second down. Carry by number 24, Ike Brown. You'll have no to gain on the play. Broadcast. Brings up no third gain down. on the play. Third down. I'm not going to be able to give you yard markers. We'll just have to call the play as we see them. Third down, Brown in the backfield. Huntley's going to take the snap. Calls for the ball. Now he's, he's audibleizing, changing to play at the line of scrimmage. He's going to go under center. Takes the snap. Looking to throw. Rolling, 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 rolling. Looking back of the end zone. Pass is 
Penalty on the play. Pass is intercepted, but there is a flag on the play. We'll wait and see what the call is here. Meeting of the minds. Looks like the penalty will be against the Dragons. Runners to the pass. Holding. Offense number 85. Holding on that the offense. The Penny declined. Be first and 10. Texas College to burn the ball out. Is interception. First down, Texas College. They'll bring the ball out to the 20 yard line. Penalty against the Dragons was holding, was declined. Result of the play is interception. The ball is so spotted Texas at the College. 20 yard line. Texas College will take over with 4.05 left here in the first half. Dragons leading 28 nothing. So Sterling, back at quarterback for the Steers, takes it, handoff. It's gonna be second down. Maybe a gain of a yard, the ball out on the 21 yard line. A nice job right there by the Dragon defense holding him to a one yard gain. Carry by number 47, Terry Landers. We're all about down almost to three minutes. Gain of one on the play, brings up second and nine. Again, handoff, going around the right side. Not much there, stacked up at about the line of scrimmage. Ball comes out, but they're saying the ball is down on the field. Would bring up third down and nine from about the 21 yard line. 309 left here in the first half. No game on the play, brings up third down. The Dragon defense, if they can hold here after the turnover, they've turned it over twice. One fumble on a buffed punt, and then an interception in the end zone. And so, you know, twins to the far side. The second receiver to the near side. Again, this is, this is the formation. It looks like Texas College is going to take a timeout. How about we take one with them? We'll be back after a 30-second break right here on the Dragon Sports Network. for Texas College. That's their third time out of the half. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up at halftime, we have the Lane College White Storm Band performance, along with the Royalty for Homecoming performance, and a special presentation by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And welcome back to Lane Stadium in Jackson, Tennessee. Ray Pack here bringing you the call. It is third down and nine for Texas College. And they have one timeout left. That first timeout they took must have been, there's the pass. And let's see what they're gonna say. They're gonna say it's a catch. If that's a catch, that's a first down. It will be a catch. Pass complete to number two, Keyshawn Henderson. Result of the play of first down. So that's first and 10 now for Texas College. As we got two, 225 left here in the first half. There's the handoff stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Going to be taken down probably for a loss. Carry by number three, Damon Woods. That's Woods with the carry again. Going to lose about three Ten. yards. No, this could be Brings a bad. I got to allow my PA band up there, Mr. Roger Ogden. So he says it's a loss of 10. Great crowd here for homecoming considering the weather conditions. I'm 
I'm, I'm really happy to see what we got. And so Lane's going to take a timeout this time. We'll be right back with the conclusion of the first half. His Dragons lead 28 nothing. Got about two minutes left here in the half. From the National Alumni Association. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, keep up with your Dragon sports team by visiting golcdragons.com. Schedules, game scores, statistics, rosters, game stories, and more. All at golcdragons.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Say it with me now. Golcdragons.com. That's incomplete on the far side. It's going to bring up second down. It's going to be third down in 10 with a minute 55 left here in the first half. Pass is incomplete, intended for number two, Keyshawn Henderson. Brings up third and 18. It'll be third down and 18 for Texas College. So the defensive lane, they gave up the big play, but the, they have since held. Sure, the coaches Elaine will be pleased with the first half. Low snap. Pass complete. Taken out the, the original line of scrimmage at the 40. But that'll bring up fourth down. Let's see if Texas College will elect to Pony. We got out of bounds. And there is a minute 43 left on the play clock or on the game clock Time here in the first half. And Lane takes their third and final timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back with more Dragon football. We'll host Fisk University for their annual pink out game on Tuesday, October the 12th. First serve is at 6 p.m. at JF Lane Gymnasium. Please come out and support your Lady Dragons. Next home game is Senior Day here at Lane Field, October the 16th, when the Dragons host Miles College. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. Two weeks from today, October 16th, it'll be Senior Day here at Lane Stadium for this group of Dragons. The Miles College comes into town. That'll be another big conference matchup as we get ready to come out of the timeout. It's fourth down and 18 for Texas College. All right, they're going to go. They're going for it. There's the pass out to the outside. Receivers on the ground. I think he fell down. So Lane, use wise use of their timeouts. They're going to take over first and ten at the Texas College. Looks like the thirty, maybe the thirty-nine yard line with a minute thirty-eight. All right, I need the driver yeah. of the Camaro blocking the driveway to please your car. If you are driving the blue Camaro. Please come move your car. Got somebody trying to get out. Now, All right, we get ready to roll here. Looks like a minute 38 left here in the first half. Dragons with the football. Huntley and Brown in the backfield. 
Dyke Brown. Redshirt freshman from Shreveport, Louisiana. Michael Huntley is a senior from Montgomery, Alabama. A lot of players from all over the country come into Lane to play football as Huntley calls for the ball. Now shotgun formation. Takes it. There's the handoff. From the man comes in motion. I believe that's number five. Carry by number five. That is Ryan Whitaker. Be second down, a gain of six, second plate. down and five. Brings up second and five. Lane just kind of methodically, minute 16, clock running. You'd like to put points on the board as you roll here. Go into the half, big lead. Little flip now to Brown. Brown down the sidelines. And let's see if he gets out of bounds. Pass complete to number 24. Ike Brown. Will be good enough for a first down. Tackle on the play by number 26. And the clock keeps running. Did not get out of bounds. The result of the play is a Dragons first down. Takes the ball down to the 27 yard line. Huntley takes the snap. Looking to throw, looking, looking, plenty of time. Goes to the back of the end zone. Incomplete, so the clock stops. Just left that pass a little bit short out of the intended receiver's hands. Pass is incomplete. I believe that was Virgil Young that time, intended Jackass receiver. Jones brings up second down. All right, so second and 10 at the 27 for Lane. A minute, or excuse me, 39 seconds left here in the first half. Band getting ready to go out on the field. We'll bring that to you. At, try to give you the best shot we can of that at halftime of the Dragon Band. Huntley calls play clock down to five. Takes a snap, looks, looks, spins out of one tackle. Steps away, gets away for a second. It's going to get a keeper. He needs to get out of bounds, and he does. Looks like he steps right past the first down stick. And so Lane will have it first down. Looks like maybe down about the 15-yard line or so. Carry by number 12, Michael Huntley. Nice job rolling out, keeping the ball, evading the defenders. Result of the play, a Dragons first down. I believe Mr. Ogden is having a little bit too much fun up there in the press box. He's on PA. So first and 10, first and, yeah, first and 10, they can't pick up a first down. There's the pass to the outside and Move that was number. Pass is complete from number 12, Michael Huntley. On the reception, number 82. That Nick was number Fidel. number 82, Result Nick Fidel, Fidel. Six foot three, 255 Touchdown. pound red shirt freshman from Bresley, Louisiana. So Lane adds to their lead. It's now 34 nothing. There's 22 seconds left here in the first half. That's the way you want to end the half. And the ball down, spotted, kick up, and that one shanks off a little bit to the right. No good. So, 34 nothing's going to be our score with good. 22 seconds left here in the first Four half. Shaw's just that shanked that one to hold it out there, Four just a little bit kind of tough to get. So, Texas College will get the ball back. Be interesting. I would say that what they'll do 
They'll receive the kickoff return, and then they'll probably take a knee to go to halftime down 34 nothing. Weather conditions have definitely affected this football game today. As All right, Shaw's going to with the kickoff from the 35. And a lot of his kicks today. Hadn't tried to kick it real deep. He's pooched him up pretty much. Let's see what he does here on this one. He puts the foot in the ball. And it's a little angle. Kind of trying to look like maybe an onside kick. As Texas College does get the reception. Two seconds runs off the clock. So... 20 seconds left here in the first half. Ball will be placed on the 45 yard line. Texas College, first down. As Sterling comes back out as the quarterback. You're gonna have twins to the far side. Look. And he's just going to heave it downfield. And I believe we have an interception. Yes. No, they're going to call it incomplete. Say the ball hit the ground. He trapped it. So incomplete. 11 seconds left here in the first half. Second down and 10 for the Steers. Pass is incomplete. Intended for number six, Derek Cooper. Brings up second down. Second and 10. Ball's on the 45. And again, hit as he throws. And that one is picked off on the far side, down the sideline at midfield. Time runs out. He's still on his feet, one player to beat, and he's taken down. But that'll end the first half of play with the Dragons up 34-0. And we'll be back. Try to get some stats for the first half. Intercepted by number three, Nigel Canada. On the touchdown saving tackle, number Nigel 56. Canada with the interception. So we're gonna try to get Devin some stats Bradford. and everything together for you for the second half. That's the end of the first and stay half. tuned, the Dragon Band will be out shortly. I'm Ray Pat. We'll be Texas back College after this break zeros. on the Dragon Athletic Network. Now we start the halftime entertainment. You are ready to take the field.
remember the bar is open over here. The bar is open. The bar is open inside. The bar is open inside. Come and get what you need. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome your Lane College Quiet Storm Band. Thank <laughs> you. 
White Storm Band. Let them hear it. And our next presentation at halftime, ladies and gentlemen, will be the Royal Homecoming Court. We would like to ask our 2020 Mr. and Mrs. Lane College to stand and be recognized. We thank you for your service during the pandemic. Continue to represent Lane College in everything you do. Miss Lane 2020, Aaliyah Fobbs from Sykeston, Missouri, 2021 graduate. Mr. Lane College 2020, Leland Wilkins from Memphis, Tennessee, a 2021 graduate. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Lane College Royal Homecoming Court for 2021. Miss Freshman, Asiya Jenkins from Warner Robins, Georgia. Her major is biology. Mr. Freshman, Aaron Brown, Jr. from Chattanooga, Tennessee, majoring in engineering. Miss Sophomore, Shante Morton, Moden, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Major Criminal Justice, Miss Junior, Tadeja Bonner, Major is Business from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Mr. Junior, Christian Pearson, Computer Science Major, Memphis, Tennessee, Miss Senior, Aaron Buckner, Major of Biology from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mr. Senior, Kavion Gleason, Physical Education Major from Shreveport, Louisiana. Miss Dragon Pride, Brandy Griggs, Physical Education from Bolivar, Tennessee. Miss Dragonette, Monet Galloway, Chemistry major from Memphis, Tennessee. Mr. Football, DeMonte Anderson from Camden, New Jersey, physical major, PE. Miss Homecoming 2021, Hannah Johnson, senior computer science major from Memphis, Tennessee. Mr. Homecoming 2021, Terrell McGowan, English major from Chicago, Illinois. Miss Lane College, 2021. Mia Townsend, business major from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And Mr. Lane College, 2021. Aaron Banks, computer science major from Memphis, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome your 2021 Homecoming Royal. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to focus on the midfield for the presentation from Academy Sports and Outdoors. Academy Sports and Outdoors is partnering with Lane College to provide $2,000 worth of gift cards to Huddle Club. The donation will provide a nonprofit with gear they need to inspire fun through sports. The Huddle Sports Club offers hope to youth by helping them develop strong character, leadership qualities, and decision-making skills that will allow them to become future leaders in our community. Academy Sports and Outdoors is the official sporting goods and outdoor retailer for Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Association. The partnership between Academy Sports and Outdoors and the SIAC focuses on establishing meaningful community initiatives within the SIAC footprint. Specifically, these initiatives will look to active to activate and amplify grassroots efforts such as youth outreach, mentoring programs that is inclusive of all student athletes and administrators from across the conference. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome 
Academy of Sports and Outdoor, and the Huddle Club of Jackson, Tennessee. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Academy Sports and Outdoors and the Huddle Club of Jackson, Tennessee. Please make them welcome. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we draw your, your attention to the center of the field where a check presentation to Dr. Logan Hampton from the National Alumni Association. Take it away on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Alumni Association is proud to present Dr. Logan Hampton and Lane College a gift of $113,000. The Alumni Association is committed to giving back to their beloved alma mater and current and future students. Representing the association is Executive Secretary Ella Flanagan, Vice President Onita Robertson, and former president, Dr. Willie Willett. On behalf of Lane College students, we thank you for your generosity. It's crazy game. Face shots to the face, don't strip on your legs. Run away all carbon beam, knock your legs off Try to get away from me, had to stand off Hit him in the spine, knock your dreads off My wood is just caught a body, I didn't name them random mouse Thugging in my Reebok, ride with a G-Shock I heard he shot, truckers make a big box He made that shot, turn, roll this bottle, pick the car Had a mask, jerko make them big box In Miami with my in heat that she got a feet out. I walked in the party. I'm on my big foot. Ready to get it started. I got no sense. Oh, he the plug. Ride around with fuck. Call me Kobe. 24. Can't fuck with her no more. Got a do the most. I get in group home. Every time I see him. Gotta give me a camera. Yeah. No, you can, you fine. They can see you. All right, we're back live at Lane Field, and we have the National Alumni Association.
Lash Alumni Association with us here to present a check with the amount of 113.618. And I, and I would like to ask Mrs. Flanagan to talk about uh, their contribution from the Lash Alumni Association. Good afternoon. I am Ella Flanagan, the Executive Secretary for the Lane College National Alumni Association. We are here today to present to Lane College, our beloved Lane College, a check in the amount of $113,618. We are proud Laneite. And it will go to everything that is needed here at Lane College. We love Lane College, Jackson, Tennessee. Dr. Willow, would you like to say anything? I'm here to just support whatever I can to make it good for Lane College. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Anita Robertson, and I am Vice President of the National Alumni Association. I am here in conjunction with my teammates, Mrs. Flanagan and Mrs. Willett, who we proudly donate this money to the college. Thank you. Please help us. <laughs> it's my great pleasure to say thank you, Lane Nation. Thank you to all of our alumni and for all of our supporters. Uh, this has been a tough season, a tough year. Um, but you all have been right there with us. You've weathered the storm with us, and we praise God for you. And even in the midst of a pandemic, you come through and you've exceeded your goals. God bless you all, and thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let's wrap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to start the second half, the Dragons will receive back deep for the Dragons number one, Anthony Evelyn, and number 86, Virgil Young, Jr. And we're going to welcome you back in to live action. Lane will receive the second half kickoff in the first half. Texas College picks up five first downs. Lane Kicking picks up 15. Texas College, number 88. Passing. Texas College rushed the ball 19 times for 18 yards. Lane rushed it 22 times for 52 yards. Passing yards. 24 net for Texas College, 238 for Lane. So Texas College was three for 12 with one interception. Michael Huntley was nine for 12 with an interception. And there's the kickoff taken. Still on his feet is Evelyn. Good return by Anthony Avalon. Texas College in the first half had 31 plays for 42 yards. Lane ran 34 plays for 292 yards. Lane had a 42-yard fumble recovery. Let's go down and see here. In an interception to return 64 yards. Texas College has punted five times, averaging 35 yards. Lane just once for 45 yards. Texas College fumbled three times, lost two of those. Lane fumbled twice, lost one. That's all weather related. And Huntley calls for the ball. Turns looking. Wide open over the middle is number 86. That's Virgil Young. Yeah, it'll be good enough for a Lane first down. Again, in the backfield, Huntley, quick out, complete. Turning the corner is Evelyn, down the sidelines at the 20, the 10, flag comes in. That's gonna come back, that's gonna be a block in the back, or a hold. Let's see what the flag says. Again, we're under the grandstand calling the game off of the monitor. So it's 
and see what the penalty here is. It is going to be against Lane as they're coming back. It'll be a first down. It's a spot foul. You look at that that camera work is great. You can see the mud out there and the and the puddles out there on the middle of the field. And so Lane's going to have it. First and ten. And we're officials are kind of huddling up. Looks like they're going to have it at the Texas College 30-yard line. It's first and ten. As the opening drive of the second half at 14.05 left here in the third quarter. Huntley. Calls for the ball. Man comes in motion. Handoff up the middle. Not much there. Maybe loses a yard. Brown on the carry. Brown on the carry. No gain on the play. Down. In the first half, Brown had 14 rushes with 38 yards. Lost four, a net of 34, so a 2.4 yard average. Quick snap, and Huntley goes down in the backfield, so he's sacked. Looks like about the 40 yard line. Quarterback sack by number 40. So that's a loss. Going to bring up. Brings up third down. Bring up third down for the Dragons. There's the snap. Huntley looking, 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 rolling. Releases down the middle. Pass complete to Evelyn. Still on his feet. One man to beat. And fumbles the ball. Recovered by Lane. Nice job. It's going to be short of the end zone. So a fumble, but a recovery there by Jacquez Jones. Freshman from Orlando, Florida. Pass complete to number one, Anthony Evelyn. Believe they're gonna, believe they're gonna mark him short. They're gonna mark him short. Well, they are gonna say it is a touchdown. Or the officials are gonna discuss this right here. I'm gonna wait for the call from the white hat. As the other officials come in, they're going to huddle. Not sure where the ball was when he recovered it. Fumble in the field of play. The ball rolled into the end zone with simultaneous possession. By rule, this is a touchdown. Okay, there you heard the explanation. The ball rolls into the end zone on the fumble. And uh, that results in a lane touchdown. So the Dragons go up 40 to nothing with 12.49 left here in the third quarter of play. Okay, snap, ball down, kick up, kick. Kick is good, 41 nothing lane. And now Texas College will get their first possession to the second half when we come back. There's the reception. Kickoff return. Number 18 on the carry. I look. I hope you're enjoying the camera Four shot. Seeing that, that, see that water splash up, where they make a cut. 
Ball's going to be out on about the 35-yard line. First and 10, Texas College. Ball is being placed on the 35-yard line. So first and 10, Texas College. And a whistle before the play. Looks like Cooper, number six, going to be the quarterback. Takes the snap, rolls. It's going to be a keeper. And flag comes in. As Cooper takes the ball out across the 40 to about the 41, but we'll wait for the flag. I believe it's probably going to be a hold. And he's got an injured dragon down. That's Nigel Canada down for the Dragons. Insignificant pain. Remind you that this broadcast is being produced by the Mass Communications North. Department of Lane North. College. Personal foul, side block, offense number two. A and that's, that's going to carry a 15 yard penalty. It's going to be a blind side block. And that's where Canada went down. about ready to go here as it's going to be first down and 25 the ball will be at the 20 yard line or actually the ball's at the 23 Texas College getting the signal that'll be Cooper listed on the roster as a wide receiver and do we have a flag? Can't see. All right. Okay, about to have had second down on the down marker over there. All right. Texas College ready. Calls for the ball. High snap. Pulls it in. And going to be sacked in the backfield. Going to be taken down at the 17-yard line. Flag comes in. And comes in late. Now it's going to be a dead ball foul against somebody. And there's another flag. Now we're probably going to have offsetting penalties here. Is it's getting a little heated out on the field, guys. I know Texas College, they're, they're, they're playing up a division. They're normally a NAIA school and Lane being at a NCAA D2 school. So we'll wait and see what happens right here on this call. And I, I realize, you know, Texas College, they they have had a very tough season, and coaches for Lane call them over to the sidelines. Got to get cooler heads to prevail here. You got to make smart decisions. You can't afford to lose anybody for a half of football, uh, no matter what level of football you're playing at, uh, especially your starters. And I would say in the fourth quarter, we'll see quite a few reserves for Lane in, as they pretty well have this one in control. Those penalties cancel out. Those are the first unsportsmanlike 
All right, so they're going to get they're going to get Jeffrey Johnson from Lane for an unsportsmanlike penalty, and also number 56, Devin Bradford on the Texas College side, and that'll be their first unsportsmanlike uh, penalty of the game. Lane takes a timeout, and I think it's a wise decision. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure your Lane College volleyball team hears from you. They will host Fisk University for their annual pickout game on Tuesday, October the 12th. First I'll, serve is at 6 p.m. at J.F. Lane Gymnasium. I'll just go ahead and repeat what Mr. Ogden said over the PA. The Dragon volleyball team will host Fisk for their annual pinkout night on October the 12th. First serve, 6 o'clock at J.F. Lane Gymnasium on the campus of Lane College. All right. So it's going to be second down, 29. Ball's on the 16. So the unsportsmanlike penalties came after, after the play was over. We've got 13, or to be 12.02 left here. Lane up 41 nothing. There we go. And you can see the clock running. Of course, I don't like that goal post at the down and distance. Nothing you can do about that. All right, Texas College calls for the ball, takes it, low snap. And there's a pass, and that pass is going to be incomplete. That'll bring up third down for the Steers. Pass is incomplete, intended for number two, Keyshawn Henderson. Brings up third and long. All right, here we go, third down. Cooper calls for it, ball's on the ground, ball's still on the ground, and recovered by Texas College, that'll go down as another fumble. That'll be their fourth fumble of the day. They've, only, they've lost two of them. So that's going to bring up fourth down. The ball is on the seven-yard line. Fourth down and ball 38. Ball recovered by Texas College. Brings up fourth down. And Texas College is going to be forced to punt it away. Back to punt. Nicholas Close Matchett steers. will be Number the punter. Nicholas Machette. And we've got a stoppage of play. Penalty on the play. Going to be a. There is a flag. Don't know what we're looking at yet, but there is a flag somewhere. There's no flag on the play. No flag, fourth down. So the clock will start running on the white hat signal. 10.37 left here in the third quarter. Machette gets that ball. Almost blocked, I believe it was partially tipped. And the ball's gonna roll dead. At the Texas College. Looks like it's going to grow dead about the 35. I believe a lane player got a hand on the football. Home was partially blocked. Ball comes rest on the 35 yard line. There's the confirmation from upstairs. I always like to listen to what the PA band has to say. So Lane's offense comes back out. Evelyn is going to take the handoff off of the right side. As Lane brings another player off the bench. I'll get these rosters out here in just a second. We'll 
Number 24, I ground on the carry. Tariq McKenzie steps out, redshirt sophomore from Sanford, Florida. His first action, now's the time you get some of your reserves to get them a little experience. Ike Brown in the backfield. Pass gonna be incomplete. That's gonna bring up third down and five. The ball sits on a 30, 9.27 left here in the first, under the third quarter. All right, McKenzie. And I believe you're going to go. There's a flag on the play. Maybe a false start against Lane, so back them up five. Maybe a snap infraction on the center. Penalty on the play against the Dragons. Five yards, still third down. So now it's be third and ten. McKenzie. A low, no, he's got it. No, there's his running back behind him. Looking to throw, pass. And pass is complete. Pass Good complete. enough for a first down. That's, four, that's Young. Easy. To number 86, Virgil Young. Good enough for a Dragon first down. Play. A Dragon's first down. Hope you can hear. Mr. Roger Ogden in the background. I think he's having a little bit of fun doing PA. All right, there's a snap. McKenzie, handoff. That's Brown. Still on his feet. Still on his feet. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Moving the pile. Still on his feet, moving the pile, and he falls forward. Down to the 13 yard line. Tell you what, that was a nice job right there by Ike Brown. Had great movement in there, keeping those feet moving. And that results in a dragon first down. I thought he was going to be stopped for at five yard game, but he just kept those feet moving. Then he took a hit from the backside and pushed him forward. As McKenzie takes it, again, hand off to Brown, straight up the middle. And that time he's brought down. Again, could have been something right there, but there's no flag. Second down, going to gain of about uh, maybe a gain of two. Gain of two on the play. Brings up second down. And you see that camera angle, you can see it looked like you got him right under the back of the helmet or maybe even on the face mask. I don't know, but it. It, 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 was, it was not what you wanted. So second and eight, clock keeps moving. McKenzie takes a snap, hand off to Brown, straight up the middle. Still on his feet, Pile still pushing. Look at him, just keep, he just keeps going. Look at hanging on to the football as Texas College. That's all they're trying to do right now is strip the football. He's gonna take it inside to five. It'll be first and goal for the Dragons from about the three yard line. As our score already, 41 nothing. We've got six minutes and 38 seconds, clock running. And I would say hand it to Brown and let him finish this off. He's been the workhorse. McKenzie calls for the ball. There it is, hand off to Brown, straight up the middle. Brown, touchdown, Dragons. Well, that'll make our score. 47 to nothing with 614 left in the third quarter. Result of the play and Dragons, touchdown! Hey, hey, hey. All right, you see it, 47 to nothing, 614 left here in the third quarter.
Ball spotted on the three for the extra point. Holder is the punter, Kevin G. Noah Shaw's kick up, kick good. Extra point by number 13. Who is Noah now? 48 nothing Dragons. Your as we have 614 left here in the third quarter of play. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to check out our concession stand and just start up all your favorite game day eats. Grab some popcorn and a drink to go with your sandwich and get ready for today's action. Also, ladies and gentlemen, keep up with your Dragon sports team by visiting Go lcdragons.com. Schedules, game scores, statistics, rosters, and stories. All at game, go lcdragons.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at go lcdragons.com. All right. Charles has it teed up at the 35. Folks, it's a pleasure to be here right back on homecoming at Lane, Lane College, Lane Stadium. Reminder, we'll be back in two weeks as Miles College comes to town. Another 2 o'clock kickoff. Hope you can join us that day. And there's the kick and a little, a little pooch. Ball taken. Number 18. That's Luke Adam. He's going to be taken down. At the 40 yard line. Where to be first to 10, Texas College. Ball spotted on the 40 yard line. All right, so Cooper. Cooper, the quarterback, the running back, Lee Quindarius Johnson, number 24. There's the snap. Cooper's going to keep it. Good roll out to his left. He cuts back. Still on. Now he's taken down. And going to be a pickup of about seven. But I guess we're going to give him nine, so it'll be second down and one. Second down in a yard. Cooper calls for it. Steps back. This time he's going to hand it off to 24. Johnson and Johnson. Big hit over on the far side, but he'll have enough for a Texas College first down. And we got a flag on the play. And that's coming back. Yeah. It'll be second down as a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It'll be second down and 12. Let's repeat it. Terry and Landers is the other running back in the backfield. Keyshawn Henderson split to the far side, along with Cliff Shavers for Texas College. Looking to throw. Cooper throws. Pass. Nigel Canada. Incomplete. Third down. 17. 451 left here in the third quarter of play. Our score, 48-0, Lane up. No Cooper calls for the ball. Same formation. Back to throw. Pressure comes. He's hit as he throws by Canada, and his pass going to be incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. And 
And that'll bring out the punt team. Nicholas Machet. Brings up fourth down. Back to punt for Texas College. Number 88, Nicholas Machet. Waiting on the punt off the foot of Machette. Nice snap, kick in the air. Blocked. Lane. Lane comes up with it. Another, there's a block punt. So they got their hands on one a moment ago. That time they put a block on it. And so Lane is going to take over. Rodriguez to London. Rodriguez London with the recovery. They're going to take over at the 26 yard line. We're going to be first at 10. Homecoming here, a lot of check presentations going on today. Brought you a couple at halftime from the National Alumni Association. So. McKenzie's going to be in the backfield. Handoff straight up the middle. And I got to get you a number on that. I believe it's 25. It's Count and Do with the carry. He picks up three on the play. Second down is six. Kinsey calls, handoff again to Do. Still on his feet, breaks one tackle, still on his feet, and he takes it down into the end zone for a dragon. Touchdown. That'll make our score 54 to nothing with 336 left here in the third quarter of play. the extra point by Shawls. G with the hold. Trying to extend the lead to 55 to nothing. Kick down, kick up. Kick is good. That'll be 55. Well, with 336 uh, left here in the third quarter lane, 56. Te uh, 54, Texas College, zero. has it teed up. Here we go. And ball taken. That's Aaron McClure, number five. Takes the ball out to the 25-yard line. We're going to be first and 10 for the Steers of Texas College. Now the extra point is saying is good, so it's 55 to zero. All right. And 
And the snap goes wide. Pass is complete. Pass complete. Number 18, Number 18 Luke, Luke Adam. Adam. Be a short gain. Gain of five, make a second down to five. Ball goes out to the 31 yard line. Gain of five on the play, brings up second down. Clock runs, 247. There's another pass, and that one is incomplete. Pass is intended for number nine, Daniel Hunt. Pass incomplete. intended for Hunt. Brings McCl out Cooper, the quarterback. Charles Samuel, number 46, running back for Texas College. And the pass is going to be intended for him out in front too far. That's going to bring up fourth down and five. For Texas College. Samuel just checking in as a running back, and I believe Texas College. Let the clock stop because of the uh, incomplete pass. It looks like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. You're down 55 nothing. I guess you've got nothing to lose by going for it. I don't know that there are enough possessions left in the football game for him to catch up. And I believe we're going to have a first down by Derek Cooper. Forced out of bounds on the far sideline. So a nice job. Result of the play of Texas College, first down. All right, so first and 10, Texas College. Ball on the 39-yard line. Cooper looking to pass. There's the pressure. Pressure coming. Pressure still there. Gets it away. And that pass is... Incomplete. Clock stops with a minute 44 left here in the third quarter. And Cooper calls for it, handoff straight up the middle. Not much there, maybe a yard. And that handoff was given to All right, Cooper between the running backs. And there's the end around. The that was Luke Adam, and he was hammered in the backfield. Tackle in the backfield by number eight, Jeffrey Johnson. Jeffrey Johnson with the tackle. Brings up fourth down. Johnson in the first half had three unassisted tackles, three tackle assists, one tackle for loss. Now make that two. The defensive stat leaders, Jeffrey Johnson, had 15 solo tackles, 13 assisted tackles for a total of 28. He had one and a half tackles for loss coming into today, so he's doubled that. And a fake punt. And Machette is going to be hammered out of bounds. And let's see. So Lane's going to take over first and 10. As time runs out in the third quarter, thankfully we're moving to the fourth quarter, and hopefully Lane will keep the ball on the ground so the clock will keep that running. So 55 nothing our score. After Lane's three quarters to play, we'll, we'll be right in. back.
All right, we get ready. Getting ready to go into the fourth quarter. We're going to do a presentation right here on camera for you. We'll be as soon as we get this lane at it first and ten. Balls at the 30-yard line. We'll bring you a check presentation in just a moment. After this, after this play, we'll go to the check presentation. And McKenzie hands it off to do. Still on his feet. Takes it down inside the 20 for a first down. Let's turn it over here. We'll throw it right over there to this check presentation on camera number three. McNeil was named the 2014 and 2015 SIAC Player of the Year. She hit 497 for her career and scored 85 runs while posting 77 RBIs. 22 runs, 19 doubles, and 26 stolen bases. For the Lady Dragons, she was named... My name is Gerald Williams, and, and myself along with my other classmates that are here now, we are delighted to be here. We have been looking forward to this opportunity for a whole year. We have been planning for this. We have been working. We've been having a lot of fun. The two things that we were most interested in is getting together today and uh, celebrating our graduation uh, 50 years. But the most important thing that we were doing was to raise money for Lane College in order to give back to Lane College and the students of Lane College to give them the opportunity that they so richly deserve. Dr. Hampton, just want to ask you to give a word of thanks for the class like this. All I can say is, uh, let's give it up for the class of 1971. They threw down the gauntlet for the class of the future. Thank you, class of 1971. Yes, thank you, class of 1971, with your gift of over $300,000 to Lane College. Thank you. All right, folks, we're going to come back to you after that check presentation. Class of 71 makes a contribution of $300,000 to Lane College. As the clock running with 13 12 left, first and goal for the Dragons. Straight up the middle. That was Rodriguez, London, number 23. Going to take it down to the four and be second down and four. So a gain of one for the Dragons. In the summer of 2021, Coach Jackson was inducted. As they are announcing the. Class of 2021 Hall of Fame. McKenzie takes the snap. Again, the handoff straight up the middle and into the end zone for a touchdown. The Brainerd High School community co-named the gym in her honor. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Carolyn Jackson. That's number 23, Rodriguez London, 5'11 freshman from Clinton, Louisiana. So our score now with 12.33 left is 61. 61 nothing lane after the touchdown score. We wait this extra point. We're gonna be able to tell if this one's good or not, guys. We, we got a good angle on this, this kick. That's good. We know that one was good, so 62. 62 to zero, Lane. Lane is now scored nine touchdowns in the football game tonight, or this afternoon. So, Texas College. Twelve thirty-three left here in the fourth quarter.
Texas College takes the kickoff, still on his feet, dancing around. Let's say 62 nothing laying up. Number five, Aaron Lamore on the return from the Texas College here. Number five. There is a flag on the play as the rain starts to fall again. Aaron McClure with the return. It's going to be first and 10 balls going to be on the 11 yard line. 12 14 left. Illegal block in the back. Receiving. Yeah, you had another block in the back. It's a 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Texas College keep the ball. First down. All right, so Texas College will have it first and 10. The ball's gonna be placed at the 17 yard line. There's the snap, and taken down. Might have been a very short gain. No gain. Carry second 14, down in 10. Trey Jones Scott. No gain on the play, brings up second down. All right, second down in 10. Ball still at the 17. Pass to the outside, and I believe that's going to be an interception for Lane. So another turnover for Texas College. Lane's going to take over. Pass is intercepted At by number 30, Walton Thompson. Pass intercepted by Walton Thompson, number 30. Yeah, the ball's going to be at the 17, so first and 10. It's going to be the ball at the 20. First and 10, 11-28 left here in the fourth quarter. Lane in a blowout, 62 to nothing. And handoff again to Kyla Dew. And may have picked up a couple of yards. Not much. Lane just wants the clock to keep running right now. As we're at 10 minutes and 59 seconds. No gain on the play, second and 10. And the handoff again. Nope, pass over the middle. And. Complete going to be first and goal for the Dragons from the four yard line. And injured, injured Texas College player. And they'll tend to him. And we're going to take a quick break. 62 nothing here in the fourth quarter of play. Coming back as the clock is rolling. It's going to be first down and goal from the five. No, I cannot stand. McKenzie takes the snap. Hand off to Do up the middle. He's going to be short of the end zone, maybe pick up a yard. Carried by number 25, Kylan Do.
No gain on the play. 9.53 left. So we're at second down. Again, the handoff. And dropped in the backfield that time as Texas College got good penetration. Of course, if you're lane, you're not really worried about that. Loss of three on the play. You get third down and goal. On the From the eight. 85, Markethius Baker brings up third down. Lane with a lot of reserves in. They're running a lot of clock off right here. Is you can see the play clock in the background. I'd say they're going to take it down to about five. And McKenzie pass incomplete, not down. So it's going to bring a fourth and goal for Lane. And the field goal unit comes on. So we're going to go for the field goal. G's going to hold. Charles is going to attempt the field goal. Delay a game on Lane. So they'll back that up five yards. It'll be down at the 13th. So it'll be about a 30 yard field goal attempt for the Dragons. Lined up straight down the middle. Kick up, kick. He is good. So that'll make our score 65 nothing. Number 13, Noah Shaws is good. With 8.37 left in the ball game, 65-0 our score. Here Lane adds that field goal. We'll await the kickoff. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, keep up with your Dragon sports team by visiting golcdragons.com. Schedules, game scores. Again, very appreciative of all the students who are involved in the production of this broadcast. And the mass communication program there at Lane. Got a lot of young people involved. And glad to see that. I'm thankful and grateful to Dr. Hampton and Derek Burroughs, athletic director, for allowing me to come in and be part of this broadcast. As we get ready for the kickoff, And the kick taken. They had a lot of dragons in on the action now as the 827. Tackle on the play by number 51, Tyshawn Gaither. Well, well, Texas College takes over at the 35, their own 35. It still looks like Cooper running the show, looking to throw. He does. Pass incomplete, second down and 10, clock stops. Pass is incomplete, intended for number 84, Darren Lacey. Brings up second down. So second ten from the 35. Texas College still trying to run some offense, getting ready for their conference play in the NAIA. 
And there's a quick throw to the outside flat. Pass complete. The third down. Take it out to the 37. Gain of, Gain of seven. On the seven. Second down and uh, third down and three. All right. See what they do here. Cooper. Going to keep it. He's going to get to the edge and a cartwheel as he's taken down. Carried by number six, Derek Cooper on the tackle. Number 30, Walter Thompson. No gain on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down and three. We have fourth down and four. Ball's going to be spotted at the 41 yard line. The clock continues to run with 6.56 left here. And there's the pass. Incomplete. Dragons will take over first and 10 at the Texas College 41. And now, if you're laying with a 65 nothing lead, you just want to run. You just want to let the clock run out. You're ready to get your kids a little bit of experience, but you want to let that clock run so that that uh, you can get out of this game. Now your second and third team players are getting in. You're going to get out with no injuries, as that's the goal. As you hit the road again next week, I believe. I'm not sure exactly where they go. I know we'll be back here in two weeks at Lane Stadium against Miles for a big conference matchup. And there's the carry down the sideline by Rodriguez London. Carry by number 23, Rodriguez London. Result of the play, a dragon first down. That'll be a dragon first down. I was waiting for, I, I couldn't see where he ended up. I was waiting for Mr. Ogden to say drag it touchdown. That's what I was thinking he was going to be. But it's down there. The ball is at the eight-yard line. So it got shoved out at the eight. Clock running. Six twenty-one. And handoff again to do. Dances this way. He's going to gain a couple of yards on that. So it's going to be second and goal for the Dragons. Carry by number 23, Rodriguez of London. Or right, they're going to say no, no gain. gain. On the play brings up second down. No gain. So second goal from the eight. Clock running, that's what you want. 540 left. And again, uh, not much there. Don't believe he got carry out to the corner. Kylan Dew. Kylan Dew with the carry. It's gonna Short take it down to the two. Line. It'll ring up third down and goal third for goal. the Dragons. And we're getting ready to roll under five. There's the pass, complete. And that's a dragon touchdown. That'll bring our score up to 71 nothing. Number four, Tariq McKenzie. On the reception, number 80, Keith Johnson. Keith Johnson on the reception. On the reception. And so a big win for the Dragons today here on homecoming. Everybody's going to go home happy. Oh. Yeah, defense was all sides. So that penalty will be declined, and it'll be a touchdown dragon. As we await this extra point, 
right at five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Well, it's hard to tell you kids that are wanting to play, third team kids, fourth team kids, it's hard to tell them don't score because they want to do just as much as the first and second teams do. And so we await the extra point. Play clock starts. G with the hold. Shaw's is going to have the leg. Snap down. Blocked. And then Lane recovers, so no, no harm, no foul. And we're going to go to a kickoff here with 5.03 left. Dragons head to Frankfurt for Kentucky for next week's football action against the Thoroughbreds of Kentucky State. Yeah, just here on the PA, the Dragons travel to Frankfurt, Kentucky, where they'll take on the Thoroughbreds from Kentucky State. Again, that'll be a 2 o'clock kickoff from Frankfurt, Kentucky the next Saturday. All right, Lane ready to kick it off. And there we go with the kickoff. Angle to the sidelines and... Lane bench blocking what's going on. Oh, he's reversing all the way to the far side of the field. Down the sidelines. Still on his feet. Cuts back to the middle field. Finally taken down at the Dragon 30-yard line. No Texas College. Number five, Aaron McClure on the... McClure on the return. All right, now your backup defense is going to be tasked with holding Texas College. Ball's being placed at the 29-yard line. To keep Texas College out of the end zone. We got 4.43 left here in the football game. Low snap, handoff. Yeah, number 44 with the carry for Texas number College, carry, Michael Thurman. Michael Thurman. He gains five, five so five second down and five. Down. And Cooper at the quarterback. He's been out there the whole second half. Looking, throwing. Over here to number 24, that is Quadarius Johnson. To number 24. Johnson taken down Johnson at the Walton 26, Jackson. so a loss of number two. It's going to make it third down. Brings up third down. Third and eight. Ball's at the 26. And the rain starting to fall again here at Lane Stadium. There's the pass, tip, and that's going to fall incomplete. So it'll be fourth down and seven from the 25. Dr. Hampton, at the conclusion of this contest, the Alpha Fraternity Organization would like to make a presentation to you at the end of the game on the 30-yard line. Dr. Hampton at the 30-yard line. Fourth down, a 
no good. So Lane takes over. They've got 316 left here in the football game. Comfortably ahead, 71 nothing. Remind you that next week the Dragons will be on the road to take on the thoroughbreds of Kentucky State from Frankfort, Kentucky. That'll be a two o'clock start. You can check in probably on the Thoroughbreds website to find out about a broadcast if they do streaming. Yeah, but we will be back here at Lane in Jackson. We will be back here in two weeks for the second and final home game of the season for the Dragons as Miles College comes play. to town. And we have a penalty flag down on the play. Not sure exactly. Substitution infraction on the defense. So it'll be five yard penalty. Be first down and five for the Dragons. Ball will move out to the 35. Give me the ball moves out to the 30. And there's the snap, there's the handoff. The tackle in the backfield, right out in the middle of the mud hole. That is Kyle and Dew. The clock's gonna keep running. You, Lane needs to pick up one first down right here. They can run the clock out. As a loss of one on that play makes it second and six. There's a snap, ball on the ground. McKenzie has no choice but just to fall on it. So it's gonna be third down and the ball is gonna go back to the 24 yard line where it will be third down and 11. Clock running right at two minutes, two minutes, nine seconds. There's the toss. And that's Desmond Toms, freshman wide receiver from Jackson, Mississippi. So that brings up fourth down. And it's fourth down and 12 from the 23 yard line. Yeah, Lane's going to punt it away as G comes out. They can run this clock down to about a minute 15 or so. And a minute 20 left there in the football game. And a flag on the play. Clock stops with a minute nine left. Let's see with the penalty, I may be Lane may have moved early. <laughs> well, Lane's gonna get backed up five. Clock starts, new, new play clock, so we take it down under a minute right here if you're the Dragons. The snap, there's the kick. High. Takes a lane bounce, it's gonna die in steer territory. As we have 48 seconds left here in the game, first and 10 from the steer, 36. Lane up here, 71 to zero.
Right. And here we go, Texas College. First and ten. Back. And quarterback just takes a knee. I think they're ready to go home as well as most everybody else. Let's see what the let's see if they have to one run more, run one more play or not. 33 seconds, clock's ticking down. So Lane's going to pick up a win on homecoming, 71 nothing. And Texas College does not have to run another play. Look at the background, you see the play clock at 33, the game clock's at 18. So this one this one is over. 12 seconds, 10, 9, now this one, yeah, the tech, they're not going to run another play, folks. All right, and that's your final, 71-0, Lane with the win. We'll be back in a minute with a wrap-up of today's broadcast. On behalf of Lane College President Dr. Logan Hampton and Athletic Director Derek Burroughs, we hope you've enjoyed your homecoming activities. We thank you for attending today's homecoming game and all this week's festivities. We look forward to seeing you again on Senior Day, Saturday, October the 16th, here at Lane Field, where the Dragons host Miles College. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. I'd like to remind you the Lane College volleyball team will host Fisk University for their annual pink out game on Tuesday, October the 12th. First serve is at 6 p.m at JF Lane Gymnasium. Please come out and support your Lady Dragons. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you buckle up and drive safely. We'll see you at the next appointed time.
And Ray Pack here after a big win here on homecoming day at Lane Stadium. The Dragons win 71 nothing over Texas College. The steers from Tyler, Texas. A lot of players saw a lot of action today, and it was really a dominating performance from the opening kickoff all the way to the end. And congratulations to the Dragons on a win today at homecoming. I do want to throw out they did honor the 2021 Hall of Fame inductees during the game. A lot of uh, alumni groups presented a lot of money to Lane College, to Dr. Logan Hampton. Also, they paid tribute to the 1982 Lane football team who has the only conference championship in school history. And a good day if you're the Dragons. The only negative of the day is the rain. It rained almost the entire first half. It quit for the second half, and then it started again, and its drizzle is falling again. But anyway, we are celebrating here in Jackson as the Dragons win 71 0. I'm Ray Pack. Good night, and God bless. Oh.